Hello everyone, today we are doing a new room from TryHackMe that is named Agent T. So let's get straight into the box. Let's take a look at the syntax of nmap command I'm going to use. So nmap dash a is for the aggressive scan. Dash I'm using double v uh, for verbose output. If I use a single v then uh, it will be a level 1 verbose. Means that I'm not going to get much uh, verbosity. Uh, in dash v rather than in using dash vv then uh, the ip of the machine that is 10 10 5 2 and i'm going to scan all ports that is 6 by 5 3 5 ports so dash v dash for that and dash on that is output in normal file and the file name will be nmap all.txt i named the file nmap all.txt because i'm scanning all ports so i named it nmap all.txt here we can see um, it says host seems down. Let's check our VPN connection. Let's just restart it once again, just in case. And then let's scan this again. And there we go. We can right off see that discover open port 80 TCP. So port 80 is for HTTP service. You can take a look at, you can uh, just search up. If you are a complete beginner, you can search up uh, what is port 80. So you can see port 80. And then it will tell you that port 80 is the port number assigned to commonly used internet communication protocol that is HTTP. That is That means our web server. So it probably means most of the times that there's a web server running on this port 80. Entering that IP in our URL we can see it's an admin dashboard and looks like uh, someone has just installed it like uh, it's a seems like a open source admin dashboard that is available for public to use so this is nothing much we can do I guess I'll go to settings there's nothing like no URL is leading to anywhere it's all hash you can see right here yeah that one so if I uh, hover mouse over to my profile, you can see at the top, uh, sorry, here, right here, you can see it's a hash coming there. That means these URLs or these buttons leads us nowhere. Same goes here. So this actually no, uh, except some pages like it's a blank page and 404 page, but they are not useful, I believe so. Yep, there's nothing here, and you can we can see it says not found. Index of HTML was not found on the server. So this kind of error is generally found in a PHP application. That means it is running a PHP server. Uh, how do I know that? It's just because by experience, I have worked with PHP, and I know whenever something does not work, it just says not found in in the purple background. And same is happening here. And if I take a look at the web library extension in my browser, we can also see programming languages uses PHP. So this is a very good uh, extension. It is available for most of the browsers. It automatically detects the technologies used in the website. So uh, we can see Google Font API is being used, jQuery, Bootstrap, Chart.js is used, JavaScript, and PHP is used, 8.1.2. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, this nothing here, I believe. So, like. Let's take a look at the page so, uh, source code. So I'll press Ctrl U, and we can see the source code here. And uh, why am I looking at the source code? Uh, well, just for the hidden uh, maybe URLs or maybe comments that may that can leak some information. So a nicer way of looking at the comments would be to copy this URL, and then uh, let's say I'll go to the new one. Wait. Okay, so curl dash v, not dash v. Um, let's see. So if I do curl HTTP, then uh, I will have the source code here of the entire page. Now I'll do this same. Oops. And then I'll filter out the text that starts with the comment syntax that is this. I am not found or oh, it's a bash thing. okay let's do the once again wrap and hope that works and yes it does 
and we have all the comments on this entire page you can see every comment i know that every comment starts with this so i uh, put that thing the grab grab just built uh, searches for the string that we uh, have appended here and it did search and uh, give us the uh, following matched results here are the results and we can see anything interesting here it's just develop and source code nothing else so that did not work out well okay so again taking a look at the technologies being used here we can see programming language is being used php and version has been detected that's 8.1.0 now you may be wondering how did weblizer detect this version well let's see how we detected the version it's uh with the help of headers so if i do curl dash v and then this url dash v uh, helps me to take a look at the headers so here you can see it says x powered by php 8.1.2 dev you can see the same result if i go to inspect element and then network tab reload the page here it will show you all the requests that are being made to the web server and the responses that you you are getting from the web server so it's it's, it's literally like um, you are inspecting what is going in and what is going out so let's take a look um um uh, okay so this is a get request to let me zoom in to the following web server that we just specified and a file has been fetched that is named all.min.css okay so you can see we might see the x powered by here you can see the response headers here this is what you're looking for and then the request headers request headers are the headers uh our browser appended when sending the request to the web server and response headers are the headers that were sent by the server so uh whenever we are doing that kind of stuff like which web server is working always look for the file uh that has slash slash means home page or index file that i fetched uh here also this one so uh slash means this page home page so if i go over to that one and i click on request or just go to headers scroll down and here we can see the response headers means the headers that were sent by the server we can see x powered by php 8.1.0 dash dev so this means uh php version 8.1.0 dash dev is being used in the server so we have uh, information uh, of what version php is being used so we can uh, see if there are any exploits available of this uh, version in php so uh, this type of information disclosure also uh, should be avoided so we can do a simple thing here like search exploit then php dev. if i press enter i'll see no results because uh, well you need to uh, modify your search results just enter the version number that is 8.1.2 and press enter if you in case you are wondering what is search exploit um i'll do search exploit um a better way would be to tell you what is search exploit so search exploit is uh, you can say a uh, exact copy not the exact copy but you can say a local copy of exploit the website from us offensive security that stores the exploits uh, public exploits most of the things that are out there in the world so uh, if i do search exploit 8.1.0 it will search uh, for the exploits with the version uh, 8.1.0 and here we can see following are the uh exploits found in the public and here we can see php 8.1.2 dev user agent remote code execution um i have uh, uh solved another room i don't know if i if it was on try hacking or hack the box that contains the same vulnerability and i had a look at uh, what why is this why does this vulnerability exist so i came to know that uh, maybe uh, if I'm not wrong then on the PHP uh, github server or the github repository sorry uh, somehow malicious actors were able to gain the username and password and with that with they logged into the github repository at another 
uh, they modify the code and instead of user agent they add another user agent header with uh, double t as you can see right here and whenever we specify uh, a specific keyword after the user agent and uh, the, after that specific keyword whatever we command we specify that will be executed on the server side and we will be able to see the response so that is what with what they did uh, for more uh, information or uh, regarding this exploit uh, you can also see uh, so i did such such m to copy the exploit to my current working directory yeah so let's take a look at the exploit and if you want to know more about this uh, uh, all the story how they gained access and whatever you can uh, search this up on google and you'll uh, find a lot more information i guess this is the one so let's see if it is so yeah so you can see version was released with a backdoor on march 8 28 2021 it was discovered and removed quickly and if this version runs if this version of php runs on a server attacker can execute arbitrary code using the user agent header we can also see that it says it specifies the original code was restored after the issue was discovered okay um but uh then tempered with the second time okay so it was again tempered here you can see php source code targeted in vector attack yeah so this their source code and they modified some thing in the source code that led to this okay you can read it and let's move on yeah so this is our expert script python script it will first of all ask us to enter the full host url then it will uh, see if the response is 200 or not that means is if uh, the web page is responding or the web server is responding or not if it responds with the response code 200 then it will say uh infected shell is opened on and it will just give us the shell you can see here headers uh, used would be user agent the normal one that is mozilla and then another user agent with double t uh, here it will be zero dim system and inside that our string that we specify and our code will be executed okay so let's do that python 3 this is another full host url um 10 10 5 2 okay 10 10 5 2 okay i need to specify http so http 10 10 5 2 let's hope that works why is nothing happening? So that again, HTTP ten ten five two. This is weird. So responding or not? Ah, there's an issue with my connectivity. Yep, there is. Um, let me just restart the VPN. Oh God, uh, I'll get back to you in a moment. I just restarted my VPN connection and let's see if it works. So, uh, HTTP 1010 up oh, 101052. Oh my God. And finally, here it works and it responds. So there was some problem with my internet connectivity. Okay, so let's execute ls and see if we can. Ah, uh, yes, we can. Yes, the following files. Okay, but uh, it's a uh, you can say it, say it says can't access cd by job control turned off. That means if I do cd, uh, if I go uh, directory back and then I say ls, I'm still in the same directory because we are ex executing the same one from the web, our kind of web browser. So. It's not a, a fully TTY shell, uh, so therefore we are going to get a reversal back. I'm going to say nc-lvnp80, dash but before that, let's see if n, n netcat is on the box. So I'm saying which nc, and uh, netcat is not on the box. So I'm, so I'm going to say which python. Python does not seem seems to be on the box, so uh, I guess bash will be of course there. So yeah, bash is there. So I'm going to get a reversal back with the help of bash. 
so you guys shall cheat sheet look at that one and copy the bash here now i'm going to modify this a little bit and instead of this ip i'm going to paste in my try hack me vpn ip copy this and the one more thing to note here is it has uh, many characters like uh, oops what just happened oh my god yeah okay yeah it has many characters uh, special characters like resident and flash so uh they uh, might hinder uh, while performing our uh, exploit therefore i'm going to um encode this to base 64 i said base 64 and here we have the encrypted string note still that there are a uh, plus sign here plus sign here this also counts in the special characters and might hinder uh when working with the exploit so i'm going to um, add a space here and you can see the plus has been removed and yeah there's no special character now so let's copy this i'm gonna say echo this is string then base 64 decode this once we base 64 decode this we will get this string uh now we also need to uh, execute this in the bash so i'll say pass that into bash once you decode that so let's launch on uh, that listener of board 8080 press enter here and we get a reverse shell back all right perfect we have our things working we are in the machine and everything seems to be working and you can see we are in the var www directory all right so let's go to the root directory and let's take a look at the following files and we here we have our flag and that is the end of this room so i have, hope you learned something new and this was just a basic room and i'll see you all in the next video make sure to type your questions in case you have any or you can also ask any questions or uh, in case of any doubt on our discord server so yeah that's it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel this is the first time i'm saying uh, to subscribe to my channel so yeah i'll see you next time